Heavy winter clothing ballistic test. And what I want to run today is 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, 380 ACP, and 9mm plus P. I'm trying to use relatively similar bullet technology. I know that in 22 mag gold dot exists, but I can't find it. Uh, but with our 9mm, we have a gold dot 124 plus P. Our 380 ACP is a 90 grain gold dot. Now, the 22 mag, that's your basic maxi mag. I wanted to use that rather than use like the critical defense I have uh, because I want this to kind of be fair, not use a ballistic tip that prevents, you know, hollow point clogging. And with our 22 long rifle, I'm going to use our mini mag, our basic mini mag, 36 grain hollow point. In the past, with this ammunition through our, these particular guns, our TX-22, our Ruger LCRX, our M&P Shield EZ, and our Ruger Security 9, uh, what I had with that mini mag 22 LR was uh, 1,022 feet per second. Uh, with our 22 Magnum, 1,245 feet per second. That 380 ACP, 989, and our 9 millimeter, 1168. So we're really gradually going up here. We got about 50, 55 more foot pounds energy going from the uh, 22 long rifle up to the 22 Magnum, and the 22 Magnum going up to the 380. Is 57 foot pounds energy jump and then it's like well over 100 or a couple hundred here almost going up from our 380 to our nine millimeter so what i have here today for weather winter clothing i'm going to go through winter clothing into plain clear ballistics but first i'm going to do a shot and not necessarily plain clear ballistics i'm going to use a rib simulation with every one of these shots uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into plain clear ballistics in the front here and get going through a quarter inch medium density fiber board that represents our our rib simulation and we're going to see how those do without like any fabric in the way and then i'm going to put on really heavy winter clothing here so what i have here is a sleeve from a coat you know this is a relatively thin winter coat it is a winter coat so i'm going to use two layers just to be sure that i have enough thickness there i have two layers here of sweatshirt just to make sure there's enough thickness there and then two layers of regular cotton shirt this is like either a t-shirt or those uh, undershirts so Really, we have six layers here. This is really what I would consider a pretty average when it comes to heavy winter clothing. So I think that should possibly play into this and, and we'll see some differences going without the winter clothing and to the winter clothing, through the winter clothing. So here's our clean clear ballistic uh, setup here. And I am gonna have the medium density fiber board with every one of these shots. So like I said, no fabric but there is going to be mdf in there and then i'm going to put the fabric on and see if there's a difference so pretty straightforward test so let's get started with this test all right so what i want to do here is go caliber by caliber just go right into the plain clear ballistics and the medium density fiber board rib simulation that would represent like a regular person that has ribs but isn't wearing anything and then with that same caliber move right on to putting that heavy winter clothing in place so we can see caliber by caliber what the differences are so nine millimeter Playing clear ballistics and MDF. All right, let's put that fabric on there and we'll see how that compares. All right, we have that heavy winter clothing here. Let's see if there's any difference. Let's go take a look. All right, so there's obviously a difference here. We went through all those layers for sure. Pull our MDF here. This sometimes can tell you a lot. In the first three inches, I actually don't see a huge amount of difference there um, in the damage that's starting out in this gel. The fabric being on the top there. A lot of MDF splatter all over here. But what we have without any of that fabric there is we have a really good expansion and we have a penetration, even through the MDF, of 12 and a half inches. But through that fabric, obviously there's some amount of lowering of that expansion because we went all the way up to about 17 and three quarters. And we can kind of see this here. This is our bottom shot here. A little bit bigger without the fabric, but it looks like that speared gold dot is doing very excellent. There's not a huge change there. So that's really impressive overall. So let's put in our fresh piece of MDF here. Let's try the same thing with our 380 ACP and see how that does. All right, 380 ACP, plain gel into our rib simulation. 
No fabric. Let's see what our 380 ACP gold dot does. All right, let's put on our fabric now. All right, our heavy winter clothing, 380 ACP. It's a lot weaker cartridge, so I don't know what to expect. Let's see what we got. We'll take a look. All right, our 380 ACP definitely went through here, pulling some of that fill from the coat through everything here. Uh, difference though, and we saw kind of the same difference, but in a little bit different way because we had a lot of expansion there in the, with the uh, out fabric. Uh, but still, again, the gold dot looks like it's still doing pretty well. Now we can definitely see here in this top shot here, uh, there's a little bit difference in expansion there. Uh, quite a bit different uh, So we got pretty much almost adequate penetration not quite now with our plain shot here through our ribs You got to remember this does take away a little bit of, uh, of Penetration because it is hard, but we're still looking at six inches. That's really not enough No matter how you slice this up now we look at our 380 ACP We have a penetration of 11 inches uh, by the way sometimes when I put my finger here this widescreen kind of skews uh, where my finger lines up with the bullet, especially the ones in the far back foot. What we're seeing here is 11 inches, but you have to take into consideration this, uh, which, you know, that could take away two inches of that gel. That, that might equate to 13 inches if that rib simulation wasn't there. Regardless, though, I'm going to say our 380 ACP did better through the fabric than what it did without, because we got adequate uh, penetration, I would say. So... Honestly, a 380 ACP, it's no nine no, it's no nine millimeter, but it's not horrible. So let's put a new block up here and we'll hit it with our rim fires. All right, let's move on to our rim fire starting with 22 mag. This is where I kind of think maybe things might change it up a little bit. Not so much about hollow point clogging, but just the thickness of the fabric. I kind of wonder about that, especially when we're talking 22 LR. So. Here's our basic maxi mag 22 magnum 40 grain hollow point no fabric but we have some rib simulation in there let's see what this does all right let's put on our heavy winter clothing see how that compares all right we have our heavy winter clothing 22 magnum let's see what we get go take a look All right, so I use the bullet I actually, I really uh, appreciate because stuff, ammo like this, when we're talking 22 mag, unless you have like a critical defense or you have something like that, most of the ammo I've seen that is like semi-jacketed does terrible, but our, our 22 mag that has a hollow point, it tends to tumble a little bit and doesn't expand anyway. And what I'm seeing here is I really don't see any significant change. Um, I'm gonna pull out this MDF here. And one thing I am seeing though, is it does look like the, the shot through plain gel is starting to tumble. That caused a lot of uh, tumbling damage there. Uh, but the one that's going through our fabric did not tumble, but at the same time it caused a lot of damage. It did tumble, but after hitting this, as where the plain gel shot, it looks like it just tumbled regardless. So what we're seeing here with our plain gel and rib simulation, we have a penetration of about 13 and three quarters. And when we look over here at the one that had the fabric, we're looking at about 14 and a half. So you could say the one did better through the fabric. Very interesting overall. Now the one I'm really curious about now is our 22 long rifle. So well, let's hit this and see how that fabric changes anything. All right, 22 long rifle. I don't think it's gonna be so much as an issue of uh, clogging a hollow point is maybe it actually the fabric is thick enough to make a difference. But I'm not really sure to be honest because it's still a bullet, it's still a firearm. So 22 long rifle, plain gel, quarter inch MDF. All right, let's put on our fabric and see how it compares. 
All right, through our heavy winter clothing, 22 long rifle mini mag. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look. All right, I'm pleasantly surprised with that. I would have thought that, you know, 22 is so weak, really, that you would think that a thicker barrier like that might actually slow it down because you, you hear that all the time. I've heard it from a lot of people talking about 25 ACP or 32 ACP and especially 22 long rifle. Oh, you put that fabric in there, it, it won't even reach the vitals. That's what they tell me. So let's take a look here at our MDF. There's not really any difference here. They both went clean through. Not really a huge difference here in overall damage. What we have through our plain gel and rib simulation, we have some, looks like deformation and expansion. We're at about 11 and a quarter inches. It ain't, ain't too bad to be honest with that MDF in place. And then we have it going through our fabric here. <laughs> we have about, uh, about 12 and a half, that's fully adequate to be honest. So that's really surprising to see that. So the takeaway from here is there's not a huge difference here, except it seems like a little more difference with the 380 ACP. So let's take a closer look at these bullets. All right, let's take a look at these. Here's our nine millimeter through plain gel into uh, the, the MDF. And then with our winter clothing, there's not a big difference there. That's really impressive. You think about that. I went through all those layers of winter clothing and went through the MDF and it still expanded. Really good. Not as good as through plain gel, but really good. So that's impressive. A 380 ACP, here is our plain gel into MDF. Not bad. Uh, here it is through our winter clothing. So this one expanded a little bit too big for the amount of energy it had to work with, so it didn't penetrate adequately. This, you know, it brought that expansion down just enough that it did penetrate relatively adequately. So 380 ACP is no joke. It's it's not quite as good as nine millimeter, but that's no joke really. With our 22 Magnum here, I, I, there's not really a difference here. Uh, the one going through without fabric, you can see the bullets bent a little bit. And then we did see an impact in that um, MDF that was oblong, like a keyhole through. And then we have it here with our fabric. There's really not any difference to the bullet whatsoever other than that straight, slight bend from it keyholing through that MDF. Now here's, here's a shocker here. 22LR, plain gel MDF, a little bit of mushrooming there, a little bit of expansion. Put our fabric in there. Really, no change, and, and in, a, in a lot of ways that a lot of ways that makes sense because when we're talking about 22 long rifle, you know, all three of these have basically a jacket on them. They're all kind of like a, a thick plating. Uh, the CCI and the Spear uses uses a thicker plating that's that's pretty comparable to a jacket. So there's a significant amount of lead on the outside there, or not lead, copper on the outside of the lead. Um, when we're talking about 22 long rifle that is not plated it is simply copper washed which is like a super quick single layer of copper to prevent following so you're just dealing with a lead core so it makes a lot of sense in a way that this could go through the fabric and then hit the mdf and expand outward because we're not working with really a hollow point expanding at that at that point as much as we're working with simply a very soft unjacketed bullet starting to mushroom when it hits something hard so in that sense the 22 long rifle here was a little more barrier blind and still relatively adequate so this is this is a big shocker here i i'm going to be honest here i thought that what i was going to see was a little bit under penetration without the fabric and i thought being that many layers of fabric Based on what other people have told me in the past, about 22s and 25s and 32s, and I knew it wasn't true with like 9mm and 38, but what they were telling me, I thought for sure 
it would barely get beyond that fabric. So whoever came up with that, that idea completely made that up. That's stupid. These are very deadly, very adequate for going to fabric. Any amount of fabric and still puncturing quite well and penetrating well. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching. Thank you.